In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating mole fraction. Mole fraction is given the symbol capital S, and then in subscript, we write the formula for the chemical that we're calculating the mole fraction for. So for example, this acetyl bromide, when we calculate the mole fraction for it, the symbol will be X, subscript CH3COBR. And this will be X, C, 7, H, 16. To calculate the mole fraction of anything, such as CH3, CO, BR, we just simply need to take the moles of that particular component, CH3, CO, BR, and divide that by the total number of moles in the mixture. So in order to solve this problem, we need to figure out how many moles we have of acetyl bromide and also how many moles we have of heptane. And we'll do that by just doing a gram to mole conversion. 193 grams of CH3COBr. When you're solving these problems on Alex, it's really important that you use Alex's calculator so that you can get exact molecular weights for these substances because Alex is really picky about getting an exact molecular weight. I, just for the sake of being speedy, I am going to just approximate the molecular weights. This is about 123 grams per mole. And so it looks like we have about 1.13 moles of this substance, CO, CH3COBr. We also need to calculate the total number of moles, so that means that we need to figure out how many moles we have of heptane so we can add those two together. And again, I can't say this enough, it's really important that you use Alex's calculator, use um, all the significant figures, don't do any rounding like I'm doing in this video, because if you're off by even a tiny bit, Alex has no patience for that. 100 grams, approximately 100 grams per mole. Again, don't use these numbers. 89 divided by 100 is 0.89 moles. So we need the total number of moles, both of these together, 1.13 plus 0.89 is a total number of 2.02 .02 moles. And that's going to be the denominator, 2.02. .02. Notice that the mole unit cancels. So this is going to be a unitless number. Sometimes students want to express this as a percentage, and that's not accurate. It should be expressed as a dec decimal. This says three significant figures, so I'm going to have 0.559. That is the mole fraction of acetyl bromide. Again, not the number that we should be putting into Alex because it's been rounded and Alex isn't going to like it. Um, but this is how you would solve the problem using more exact figures for the molecular weights.